Hello, 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 and welcome back. My name is Sir Joust, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to not be noobs in Paragon. Paragon is a five-person, very intense MOBA, and basically what that is is a tower defense game uh, where you, right, let's say you're playing um, Dat Rampage, right? Uh, you're trying to defend the tower from the enemy hordes of, 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 of minions and the enemy players because you're facing five other players as well. But in this this video specifically, we're going to go over the cards and the deck structure and basically how you can get into a game and not use those stupid default decks. Um, if you guys like this video, hey, make sure you drop a like. I would really appreciate it and it would inspire me to do more advanced tips and tricks, right? Um, I am... I dabble in a little bit of platinum play. Lately, I think I've been on a losing streak, but um, I'm very good. I have about eight years of League of Legends and Paragon experience, so I can bring a lot to you guys as far as information. And as long as you are a good player and you can utilize those tips and tricks, you're going to be up in platinum and diamond in no time. Seriously. Like, if you listen to me, you will be there. I promise. Uh, but all you got to do is like this video and then comment if you guys want to see specific things, specific characters, what you guys want to see, I'll do it. Please, <laughs> please, I need the comments. Um, so a basic synopsis of the cards. Oh, also Paragon's free, completely free. You can go over to Epic Games, download the game, play it, get hours of entertainment for literally never pulling out your wallet. You might as well give it a try. So, the card structure, right? We have Order, Intellect, Corruption, Fury, Growth, and Universal. Every single character in the game can play with a Universal card. Makes sense. And then specific, um, like green, red, purple, blue, and white, they go to specific people. For example, I play a lot of ADCs, which is the attack damage carry, uh, like Twin Blast and Murdoch. Right? Murdoch is Fury and Intellect. Twin Blast is Growth and Fury. I also play Grux, who is Fury and Corruption. I mean, everybody does little different things but that actually completely determines which cards they can use for example this card does not exist anywhere other than the order section if we want to just look at intellect cards you can click on these different well i guess this will show all of them you have to deselect them if you want to go to them specifically when you first start out the game you're pretty much just going to have universal cards these will all say maybe like one or zero i think yeah, i think you don't get any of these cards um, until you play the game a little bit more um, as you can see i am almost max level max level is 50 and I still haven't even unlocked all the cards. If you guys do want to buy cards, you need to use Reputation. Reputation is earned via playing the game. Like, that's all you got to do is play the game. You got to click this button, this button, or this button, and then click play. Not this one. You don't get rewards. Uh, but then you go over to the store. You, you could, I mean, you could buy all sorts of things. I actually, I purchased a, uh, a bundle thing that gave me a bunch of coins because I loved Paragon so much. No shit. I bought something with no intention of spending it just because i wanted to support this game like that's how much i love it and if you guys can get even half of the enjoyment i get from this game you're gonna be you're gonna be loving it so let's say i just started the game i don't have any packs what am i supposed to do well you can buy the weekly pack which is not the best option but if you don't if you see one of these and you really really want it it's kind of worth it to uh, to buy okay <clears throat> the only reason i would do that is if it had um if it had cards like the cast token, right, guard token, heal, uh, health token, anything that's rare in these one cost and universal, that's the only situation where I would personally buy it. But going back to card packs, always this is the best bet you're going to get if you're starting off the game. There's no way you can buy one of these specifically because this, if I bought this, it would give me one random corruption card. I could already have it. It could be shitty. It could be something that's not going to be used. I just paid literally half the price of, of five random cards to get one specific card I might not even get. So we go into card pack, boom, we're buying it, oh baby, bought it. Now we go to profile, go to overview, and then you got all your stuff, okay? I got a couple chests, you earn those from games, but let's say I just bought the card pack, you're new to the game, go into here, click open pack, boom, all of these open, you can click them one by one if you want, or click reveal all. As you guys see, I got these. Shadow Scroll, I'm kind of excited about. But I got all special cards. So these are both Corruption, because they're purple. This is a Fury card. This is Intellect, because it's blue. And then this is a Fury card as well. And I didn't have to spend 4,500 reputation. 
Just saying, you guys should do this. Okay, now that you guys know kind of the basics of cards, let's say um, I'm coming in here and I really want, uh, let's see, a card I don't own. Uh, I don't own this. As you can see, it says times zero. I don't own this. Let's say I want it. You go into this, you click on it, and you can craft it or dismantle it. So for example, I'm gonna actually dismantle a card for you guys. We come down here, I have six of these. Why on earth would I need six of these? I don't know, I don't know. Realistically, you only need one. So I'm going to delete five, okay? By deleting five of these, I get a frick ton of shrapnel, right? It does this, it does some sexy little <laughs> and I got a bunch of shrapnel. You use shrapnel to build the cards you want to build. So let's say I want to build a... Uh, I want to build another blink shot. I don't, because I have two. I could probably dismantle this. Uh, I go over to here, click craft. As you can see, it costs um, it costs 4,800 shrapnel. So I don't even have enough to make it if I wanted it. Plus, they're going to charge me 2,000 reputation. Um, yeah, let's break it. Oh, oh, okay, so I just broke down an epic card. Boom, I got so much more than all five of those. I think I got the exact same amount. Um, so breaking down rare cards gives you more. Building them also makes, you know, costs more. So kind of balance what you're going to want to do. Don't be going around breaking down all your cards. You don't want to do that early on. This is like if you want a specific card. The first card um, I built was actually a Madstone Gem because they're just so unbelievably good. They cost two, they give you 12 power, and the fully upgraded bonus gives you a little bit of attack speed. But the, the benefit of having that two right off the bat and being able to use that single for like a ward or a uh, another point in the Madstone or just a cast token or a health potion, stuff like that is the utility of this card is amazing and that's why I built it. Sorry about the clap, that was probably pretty loud. Clicking on decks, right, we have a bunch. I'm gonna delete this because I actually just recorded this whole video and it was about, oh, 50 minutes long. So I'm trying to shorten it up. Sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing. If you guys want to see the 50 minute video, not the same thing, obviously, but in the future, if you guys want a longer, really in-depth video, tell me in the comments, it would really help me out. And if you like the style of this, um, you wanna see more Paragon, hit that like button. You're gonna make my day if you do so. So let's run into, uh, Hmm. Let's say let's say we want to make a new deck. Okay, so we're gonna open this right, and we're gonna play. Oh, I don't know. I think I think you get Twin Blast right off the get go. <clears throat> so when you click on Twin Blast to create a new deck, it's gonna you're not gonna see this. You're not gonna see TB1. You're gonna see default. And as you can see on the right hand bottom right hand side, uh, Epic has created a deck that's not horrible, but it's not good. So for example, in this deck. It is 50% power, 50% uh, defense, which is always dumb on an ADC, and then 50% utility. Okay, so let's get, well, what we did right there is copied it, and then we click create. So when we do that, the game pulls that default deck out, and then you can edit it how you see fit. Um, the first thing you're going to look at is the prime card. You get this when you kill prime. Um, it happens anywhere between 10 minutes and 15 minutes, and it gives you this huge bonus because... Boom. As you can see, um, it, it does all of that, right? It gives you huge buffs. It heals you really quick. And it, in, in this case, it gives me 30 extra power, 300 health, or 27.5 attack speed. I would go for the power because Twin Blast already shoots pretty quick. And this deck, not this deck, um, but the decks that normally you see with Twin Blast have a lot of attack speed in them. So... When you first start out the game, you're gonna have all of this stuff just pre-made. Immediately get rid of the Touch of Thieves. That thing is stupid, you don't want it. If you guys don't have the, uh, uh, so if you're looking for a specific card, this will come with time. Like I know I'm looking for the blink shot, okay? So if I wanna throw this in there, right? Let's say I just wanna throw it in like that, boom. Blink shot gives me the exact same thing as the blink charm. So now I can, now I can get rid of the blink charm. Uh, for early game, we have a health potion, mana potion, and scout's ward. This is the first thing you guys are going to start with pretty much until you get a solid foothold for the game and you know what you want to start with. Looking at this, there is no reason we should have that much health. Um, the Elder Mage Amulet gives me 6 power and 60 health, and then if I fully upgrade it, as in put 3 upgrades into it, it will give me 120 extra health. Those specific upgrades have 180 health, 120 health, and 12 power. These are stupid. 
So we're going to get rid of them. Boom. I could have just clicked that, but I didn't. These aren't that bad. I'm not actually going to change these at all, right? Neither of these. So these are the exact same item, Rift Magus Scepter. However, this one has three power, two crit, and then two crit, okay? The second one has three power, two crit, and two crit. I think I said the same thing, but you see the difference, right? This is the difference. And this is power, this is crit chance. They're nice, and if you are well adapted to the situation and you know what you need, you can determine whether or not you wanna build this to get that extra boost in crit, or you want that little boost of power minus a little bit of crit. Same with this, Whirling Wand, it gives me a little bit of crit chance and a little bit of power. They did the exact same thing over here, power and crit chance. I'm not touching any of these, nor am I, well, I'm gonna touch this Wind Cover Blade just a little bit. Um, no, no I'm not, I lied. Um, yeah, actually this, like this right here, solid deck. Uh, we're gonna change it because this Guardian Ward is silly. Let's say you, you, you have the card, right? And you wanna build a uh, ward. You can type in ward and you got all these different types of wards. Some of them I don't have, um, but without even glancing over these, right? Because that covers up a lot of the screen. It's really annoying. You can't, yeah. You can actually just look underneath. So the Brawler's Ward has six, it would be right here, but six power and 30 mana, right? This one has six power and 60 health. This has mana health and mana regen. That's what those little emblems look like. And this blah, 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 as it goes down the line. Uh, what I like to do with Twin Blast specifically, because he uses a lot of abilities and stuff, and we can go over the abilities here in a minute, um, is I like to go with the Brawler's Ward. Only because it gives me that little extra bit of mana. But more importantly, once I fully upgrade it, it gives me six power. Uh, let's throw, <clears throat> excuse me, let's just throw, oh, I don't know two of these and one of those, okay? So this card altogether, two cast, costs eight. You don't have to fully upgrade it to utilize the ward, and literally you're paying three for a ward right here, a ward that's invisible and lets you see invisible enemies. I can go over specific stuff like that in a future video though. We're going over deck building. Uh, but I, you know, I want, a, uh, I want early game, so I'm gonna build one of those sexy mad stones. With that, I am gonna throw in three one costs. The reason I'm doing that is because it allows me to finish out, start and finish out this card very, very early. In fact, uh, I like it so much, I'm gonna build two. Okay, well, I can't do it how I wanted it to do it, so I'm gonna just do that, okay? So this card, right, this card costs two to cast, and then to fully upgrade costs three, because there's three one cost mana, uh, one cost powers. This one, two to build, and then altogether five to complete because you have to pay two. And this this number comes from, I should have explained this earlier. So when you kill creeps, right, you get amber. Amber goes into your card points, card points you use to buy cards, and you get points, okay? <laughs> Moral of that story. So if you kill enough creeps or you kill a player, you can go back to base and fill out this card. <clears throat> After you do something like that, then you can start building into this other stuff. And then finally, you want to get this Blade of Agora because it's sexy and sick nasty. It gives you 100% crit bonus. So after you've built all of this sexy crit, go into here. Or I mean, even if you have like 30% crit and once you're in a game, if you press G, I don't know what it is on the PS4. Sorry, guys, probably start over on the right hand side. Um, it'll show you all of your stats, but once you're at about 30% crit, then maybe you can start thinking about building this. Just remember, it's not going to give you a whole lot of power. Like this will only give me 24 power, but it's going to double the amount of damage that's done every single time you crit. Something to think about. So that's basically what you want to what you want to do. The I ideal build would have 40 out of 40, and then at the end of the game, you would be 60 out of 60 card points. Okay. And I explained this in the earlier recording I did, and I just realized I didn't explain it in this one. So, I've noticed a lot of people early on will have decks that they've built themselves or they tried to copy, but you know maybe they didn't have uh, three minor casts, right? So they, they're just like, well, I can, I can just throw in a cast in there, right? It won't matter. Well, then you run into the issue towards late game when you're trying to use all of your cards, your, your deck doesn't add up to 60. It adds up to 63 or 58, something like that. So when you're making a deck, pay very close attention to what the total cost of your items are gonna be. So this Blade of Agora, right, to build it completely, it would make 10, see, six, eight, nine, 10. So that's one fully made card. 
Wind Carpet Blade, same thing. Three, six, eight, ten. Boom. That's two. Whirling Wand and Whirling Wand, both equal ten. Rift Magus and Rift Magus. Right? Yeah. So, right there, if I have these two cards, well, the, the, all of these, minus Blink Shot and the Blade of Agora, I would have a fully decked out deck without having to do anything. But let's, let's, let's just, let's throw a wrench in that plan, okay? So right now we're three, two, and two. Let's get rid of one of these twos and throw in another three. Oh, God, Sir Joust, what are you doing? Now this card costs 11 to create. Well, that's fine. Well, I, okay, I fucked it up. This card costs 11 to create. Well, that's fine, that's fine. You just have to make sure you go into another card and, um, you know, maybe get this major strike. Let's just, uh, let's just throw it into a strike, right? So now, while this card costs 11, this card costs 9. Ultimately, adds up to 60. What I find is the absolute easiest until you can... And if I, what I just said to you, just win in one ear and out the other, I do apologize. Um, I know it's tricky, and if you guys have questions, I will try to be as in-depth in the comments below, and I will respond to every single person who has a legitimate question. Oh, I forgot where I was going. Yeah, totally, totally spaced. Oh! Easy things, right? To keep track of your cards. I can I can just do it in my head, um, but what I found was very easy for me and made it very simple early on is to no shit, get a piece of paper out and then write down what your cards are, right? So let's say you wanna make this rift, you wanna, you wanna just go balls to the wall, make it three, six, nine, 12, boom. That's a fat nasty card, okay? Well, that means one of your other cards has to be tiny. And you just have to make sure you keep that in, in mind. There are benefits to doing that, throwing really expensive stuff into here, or you know, let's just let's just go absolutely nuts. Okay, I don't have them. These can go up to five, right? But uh, you guys, I hope this this helped kind of explain just the deck system, because people come into Paragon and they're like, yeah, you know, I liked it, but the, the the card system was really stupid and it turned me off to the game. And I'm sitting there just like, but the card system's what's what what makes it amazing what are you talking about and what it is is people just don't know what they're looking at and i totally understand it took me like two months before i was like confident with the cards okay um another thing if you guys want me to specifically help you make a deck i can definitely do that um i don't want to make everybody a deck what i'll do is if you guys really want to see um revenant or phase or murdoch builds i can do a video on them and then if you have specifics like oh well, do you think, like, the Stinger would be good for Twin Blast? Because, as you guys can see, Stinger Boost, uh, he has a unique passive and power, basic, on ability cast. So Twin Blast has these cool abilities where he throws grenades. So if you throw a grenade, boom, this instantly kicks in. You do extra ability damage on your next shot. So you grenade, shoot, grenade, shoot, grenade, shoot, and uh, you do extra damage. Would that be good on Twin Blast? Well, if you build the deck around this card, yes, it could be good. If I threw this card in here, it would suck all the wieners. <sighs> but I think that's all the time I have for this video. It's already dragging on super long. Um, tell me what you guys think of it in the comments below. I know everybody's super hyped for Fortnite right now, and believe me, I am in the same boat. Um, but I'm running out of content ideas for Fortnite. I know I have two more videos I want to do before the release. I know I have two more videos. Um, more might come up. We'll see. Um, but Paragon could be a cool way to fill that gap and uh, get you guys, hey, into a new game that's uh, f completely free. I mean, we all know you just spent way too much money on Fortnite, so maybe uh, play a, a free game, you know? Keep it in mind, guys. Well, I was gonna say something, but then it just it fluttered out of my head like a like a like a butterfly. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Hey, until next time. Peace.